tonight. I was not thinking a lot when I got in. A second government review, in fact, confirms Hillary had top secret information on her private email server. I didn't really stop and think, um, what, what kind of email system will there be? Mark Stein is here with reaction. So I think this is devastating to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Then the Kentucky County clerk who was jailed for refusing to betray her religious beliefs has been set free. Thank you all so much. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee is here tonight with reaction. Lock me up if you think that's how freedom is best served. And Donald Trump surges past Hillary Clinton in a brand new poll. Laura Ingram and Steve Hayes have reaction. All that plus Thomas Sowell weighs in on the Black Lives Matter movement. Hannity starts right here, right now. Welcome to Hannity and tonight a second review of Hillary Clinton's emails by two government intelligence agencies in fact confirmed that top secret information was in fact on her private server and that the information was classified at the time that she received it. And earlier tonight Clinton actually apologized finally for her email scandal. Watch this. That was a mistake. I'm sorry about that. I take responsibility. Uh, and I'm trying to be as transparent as I possibly can. And joining us now with more is Ed Henry. By the way, not only it was the top secret designation, the highest classification available, she had denied this repeatedly. Why the turnaround? Well, Sean, this is uh, an independent review by the intelligence community, so she's not admitting that there was top secret information. That's why there's no turnaround from her. Uh, the intelligence community, though, is uh, bolstering their case, as they've previously said in that first review, that they believe there was classified and in a couple of cases, perhaps top secret information. This is challenging her narrative yet again. That's in part why she's do doing these interviews. That ABC part about saying, I'm sorry, uh, she's trying to clean up Friday's interview with NBC News where she stopped short of an apology and said she was only sorry that this had been confusing to voters. Also at work here is that after joking about her email, she's trying to show a more contrite tone in these interviews. Today in the New York Times, her campaign admitted this is part of a poll-tested approach. They said after a recent focus group where voters said uh, they wanted to hear more on the emails, they decided to get more transparent and she started taking more questions from the media. Her advisors ironically revealing in this carefully coordinated leak to the New York Times, they want to bring more spontaneity to what has been a cautious campaign and that they actually have a strategy to have Clinton show more humor and heart. Well, Venter and Democratic strategist David Axelrod tweeted, quote, today's New York Times story on HRC read more like the onion, her detailed plan to show more authenticity and spontaneity. Hashtag just do it. To show that more spontaneous side, Clinton herself retweeted an MSNBC clip of her answering personal questions. At one point, she was pressed about whether she prefers emailing or texting. She actually laughed and said, email. That may have been off message, especially, as you say, on a day when we're learning the second review by the intelligence community is saying there was, in fact, classified information in that server shop. And are we supposed to believe, as the New York Times piece points out, that she wants to show more humor? I, I don't exactly look at Hillary and think Chris Rock, Larry the Cable Guy, or Jimmy Kimmel. So uh, well, it sounds kind of manufactured, and I'm not surprised that David Axelrod thinks it's silly. I think that's what Axelrod is exactly trying to get at, which is, you remember uh, George H.W. Bush at one point saying, message, I care. Uh, you know, taking a poll-tested message from advisors and sort of spitting it out to voters, you don't come across as authentic. Same problem for Richard Nixon, the wingtips on the beach. Uh, the, Hillary Clinton has a problem connecting with middle-class voters, even as she pushes a middle-class message. That is why the campaign is very worried, and that's why they're trying to shift course tonight. But, but also remember the, the words that come out of people's mouths that describe her were not very flattering. First word was liar. So uh, let me ask you about this, this State Department employee that was being paid to monitor the server that was in the closet of the bathroom of the mom and pop organization uh, that will plead the fifth. What do we know about this employee? Did he report the income? Did they report it to the State Department? Well, that may be one reason why he took the fifth, because in our, the early reporting we've done suggests he did not report uh, to the State Department, to the federal government, that he had made extra money uh, on the side. That could be a reason why he's told Congress, and we're told also told the FBI, uh, that he doesn't want to testify uh, because of a fear of self-incrimination. Uh, we don't know the full story. We only know part of it tonight. I think the other issue here is, don't forget what happened uh, on Labor Day. Vice President Joe Biden was out on the campaign trail uh, and was hearing from 
voters, run, Joe, run. Uh, and he said, look, go talk to my wife, uh, suggesting the door is open, but he's still perhaps trying to get his wife on board, Sean. All right, Ed Henry, thanks so much, uh, covering the Clinton campaign for us. Now, the author of a brand new book joins us, A Disgrace to the Profession. The one and only Mark Stein is with us. You know, I don't even know what to think of this. This campaign is in significant, <laughs> no. in my opinion, legal trouble. I mean, you have this poor clerk in Kentucky, we'll talk about in a second, uh, you know, handcuffed, right. perp walked, fingerprinted, mugshot, right. and put in jail. And right. now we've got Hillary Clinton's campaign saying, oh, they want to show that she's funny. I don't look at Hillary Clinton and yeah. see Larry the Cable Guy. I don't see Chris Rock. I, don't well, see, I, <laughs> I just don't see it. <laughs> Well, I actually, uh, as uh, David Axelrod pointed out, it's hilariously funny uh, to have your campaign spokesman announce that you're planning to be more spontaneous. I mean, I gather that <laughs> Hillary's director of spontaneity has announced that she's going to be spontaneous this Thursday, uh, 2 p.m. at Bud's Diner in Nashua, New Hampshire. So if you're there, you'll get the chance, and, you're, and you've undergone the background check, you'll get the chance no, to see and Hillary way, and, be and spontaneous sign, this Thursday. And if you sign the loyalty pledge before they let you into the event. I mean, it's getting a little crazy. Yeah. No, but. no, that's actually, a, a, that, that actually is what is, I mean, this is a postmodern campaign. The point about campaigning uh, in something like the New Hampshire primary is that you encounter voters and you persuade them to vote for you. They were a Bernie Sanders guy, uh, but they go to a Hillary event and they're so stunned by her spontaneity and her humor that they switch. With the Hillary campaign, you have to announce before they'll let you into it that you're pledging your lifelong allegiance to Hillary. So in other words, the campaign has conceded that she is incapable of political persuasion. She, that, that's why why uh, politicians go on the stump. That's why they have whistle-stop tours. That, without it, there's no point to doing it. You might as well just mail in your pledge or, or email it to the server in the toilet in Colorado. Uh, this, ca this campaign is a joke, but, but not in the way that Hillary's uh, poll-tested director of humorologically approved campaign spontaneous ad-libs and quips <laughs> uh, would like. Just like a town hall where they bus in all the people that are heavy asking spontaneous questions as long as you're a democratic right. operative you get in uh but there's more bad news right, right, right. donald trump is beating her <laughs> no, now no, that, that's that's go ahead yeah no, no, I was, I was just going to say, I mean, this is, this is the problem, is that basically Hillary is the straight man. She's, she's actually the butt of her own jokes. Uh, and that is why this campaign, uh, to, to announce that you're suddenly going to be lightening up and everything, it's just that's never going to work. Uh, you, you can't make it. Look, either you have it or no. you don't. To her husband's credit, right. he's got that. You're the only person that matters to him in the world if he meets you. She doesn't have his warmth. Right. No. She doesn't read a teleprompter like no. Barack. She's got problems. Latest poll. Donald Trump beating her five points uh, in a head-to-head -head right. matchup. Bernie Sanders up nine points in New Hampshire, gained on her significantly right. in Iowa. Joe Biden's numbers are now going up. And, you know, mm. now we have a second review of only 40 emails, and they have determined, yeah, there was top-secret information about North Korea's nuclear program, including satellite imagery. She lied to the American yeah. people. Now it's a legal issue. Don't you think that's her bigger, should be her bigger concern at this moment? Yes, I, I think so. I mean, I think there's no doubt now that she broke the law, uh, that the, the, there's no doubt she committed a crime. And she committed a crime uh, that if she were anybody else, she would be in jail for. And it, as you mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago, it's happened at a time when uh, a, a low-level uh, county official has, w was dispatched yeah, I, to jail. Uh, but it's, and, and that actually is one of the big issues in this in this country, whether we're bifurcating in, into a system whereby if you belong to a certain privileged elite, the laws don't apply to you. And the Clinton assumption has always been that the laws don't apply to them. So if we're in a situation now where uh, it's taken for granted by everyone from the CIA and the other intelligence agencies uh, that she in fact broke the law and she is wandering around with impunity that nobody, nobody else would be allowed to get away way with. I don't see how long she can, she can carry on campaigning. And Joe Biden, uh, you know, in, in 2008, uh, the Democrats were told Hillary is the heir presumptive. Let her get on with it and win the nomination. And she loused it up. 
She defeated herself. This time round, uh, Joe Biden was told again, Hillary is the heir presumptive. And she's loused it up again. Yeah. And, and the fact is that neither he nor any other Democrat should sit around just watching this slow motion train wreck. Let me just go back and, and remind people, as, as big as this email server is getting, she was the one that was excoriating the Bush administration uh, for, quote, using private mm. emails. And she also admitted at an, on another time, oh, that she didn't use uh, an email or write anything down for fear of being subpoenaed. You may remember these. Our Constitution is being shredded. We know about the secret wiretaps. We know about the secret military tribunals, the secret White House email accounts. It is a stunning record of secrecy and corruption of cronyism run amok. Are you keeping a, a diary? Are you keeping good notes of what's happening? Heavens you? no. It gets subpoenaed. I can't write anything down. <laughs> All right, so she admits she doesn't write anything down, Mark, and then she excoriates no. them for a secret email. You know, and then there's all the other lies. This is why people, the number one adjective people, unsolicited, the word they use to describe her is liar. Remember when she said she would landed right. in Bosnia under sniper fire? Let, let's remind people. Right, right. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. All right, now, uh, Mark, I'm showing video right now. I'm going to show the video of her actually landing in Bosnia. She's walking. Yeah. There's no ducking. There's no yeah. dodging. She's being met with flowers. Yeah. So she has a history yeah, of lying, nice a history of hypocrisy. I mean, this is... Right. This, what do you think in terms of the ads that people could make against her? Well, you know, I think you can get away with it if you're like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is a liar, and he tells the lie he needs to tell to get out of the situation he's in. But he does so very charmingly. And the point is, uh, Hillary, I think, that the, 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 could, would, would possibly have a sporting chance of surviving this if there, was, if there was any good side to her campaign. But everything about her campaign is tone deaf. Uh, when she was endorsed by Jean Shaheen in New Hampshire over the weekend, she had this uh, ridiculous uh, uh, choir of uh, arrhythmic white NPR listening women pretending to do some Negro spiritual where they'd substituted Jesus's name and replaced it with Hillary. I don't know whether that's, uh, you know, th th who, who thought that was a great idea, whether they're going to do that with every uh, well-known hymn. What a friend we have in Hillary. Uh, she, she walks with me and she talks with me and she you tells can't. me poll-tested <laughs> jokes. I don't know whether they're going to do that with every uh, beloved hymn. But the fact is there's no upside. It's not as if she's, she's a, a great uh, rogue, which is what Bill well. Clinton is. And you know he's an unprincipled rogue, but he gets away with it because the charming bits are very charming. Here, when she's not being criminal, uh, she's just being wooden and unlikable. And the, and, the well. and the danger for the Democrats is that Bernie Sanders will end up sneaking this thing away from her in Iowa and New Hampshire, and her so-called South Carolina firewall is going to crumble too. Absolutely. That's not, that strategy won't work. I, I don't think that's going to work either. By the way, if they ever change Amazing Grace to Amazing Hillary, I'm done. I'm out. It's over. We've lost. Uh, all right, Mark Stein. <laughs> yes. Good to see you. Thank Amazing you. Hillary House. Uh, Swing low, sweet Hillary. Don't forget that one. <laughs> I won't forget all the great hymns. All right. And coming up next tonight, right here on Hannity. I just want to give God the glory. He is, his people have rallied, and you are a strong people. The Kentucky County clerk who refused to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples was finally released from prison earlier today. Governor Mike Huckabee was with her today, and will join. he'll join us next along with Kim Davis's lawyer. And then later, Hillary Clinton would actually lose to Donald Trump in a head-to-head -head matchup, according to a recent poll. We'll check in with Laura Ingram and Steve Hayes next, here to respond.